Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Today, we're having a look at yet another authentic brew from the land of the rising sun, Kirin Lager, which is 5% alcohol by volume. And uh, yeah, I've got it here in a lovely 500 ml bottle that's been uh, deep chilling in the Swill and Grog beer fridge for a wee while. And what a lovely label it has. All right, so um, I'll grab the trusty BB Barfly bottle opener and crack off the cap. All right, we'll pour it out into this pint glass. Now, uh, even though uh, Kieran uh, own uh, her subsidiary of Mitsubishi, own uh, Lion Brewing in uh, Australia and New Zealand, and uh, Lion uh, make, or formerly Lion Nathan, but now just known as Lion, they make uh, 4X and uh, yeah, Tui's New, yeah, Tui's Extra Dry, all the popular Australian beers. Yeah, even though uh, they're owned by Kieran, um, yeah, you can't get real Kieran beer here without uh, going to a uh, specialty liquor store uh, online for me, um, or if you're in Melbourne, obviously, uh, you know, you can actually walk in there and purchase it. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Old Richmond Cellars again, folks, yes. They um, have a very good selection of uh, Asian brews. And uh, yeah, Karen Lager is uh, one of them. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll put a link below, but uh, yeah, if you want to try the real McCoy, uh, you know, whether it be Asahi, Sapporo, um, you know, Suntory, or Kieran, then yeah, go to uh, Old Richmond Cellars. Hmm, yes. All right, well, um, yeah, a disappointing amount of uh, head there. Yeah, it's reduced to a a fine ring, but uh, the beer itself is quite effervescent. Uh, yeah, slight haze to it. Uh, hmm. Say the colour is a a light golden colour. Hmm. All right, so let's uh, move on to the uh, aroma. All right. Well, uh, yeah, very light, uh, grainy aroma. Bit of grass there too. Hmm. All right, so uh, we've talked about the appearance and uh, we've talked about the aroma. So uh, yeah, time for the taste test, folks. Let's dive into this one. Ooh, very nice. It's got a nice zing to it. Yeah quite malt forward, very clean, very crisp. Yeah, somewhat dry, no real bitterness to speak of. Yeah, but it's definitely very tasty. I must have another gulp. Hmm. It's got a beautiful mouth feel. Yeah, that carbonation's just spot on. Wow. No, it's it's quite impressive, actually. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing fancy about it, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it's just multi-goodness, uh, really. Yeah, definitely very drinkable. And at 5% uh, ABV, you could certainly session this one. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the body is somewhere between uh, medium and full, uh, leaning towards medium, but wow, this is just a really well-crafted uh, beer. World-class, uh, this one. And like I said, I mean, it's a shame that it's not uh, widely accessible uh, in Australia, despite, you know, Kieran having control of probably 50% of the beer market uh, here in Australia. I mean, nowadays, yeah, it's... A, Jap a, Japan a Japanese dominated market in fact you've got uh, 
you know, Kieran who uh, own Line, and then you've got Tasaki who own uh, Carlton and United Breweries. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> an interesting situation. But uh, despite these giants, um, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, running the Australian market, having the monopoly, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't get authentic Asahi here very easily or authentic Kieran. Hmm, a somewhat precarious situation to say the least. Hmm. Anyway, I digress. I guess the only thing that lets us down is the price point, but hey, we all know that. I mean, uh, I'm, you know, obviously purchasing this more, you know, out of interest. Yeah, I mean, uh, I possibly could have tried it while I was in Japan. Uh, I had a lot of, you know, variants of their, their beers that, you know, you would only like see there. But I'm, I'm thinking I may have possibly had this when I got off the plane with a couple of hot dogs. Hmm, I was a bit weary, so I can't. Remember, hmm, yeah, well, that was about three years ago anyway, but, uh, yeah, I didn't review it, <laughs> so, uh, wow, this is a real treat. Hmm, yeah, if this were readily available in Australia and at a reasonable price, I would buy it on a regular basis. It's pretty goddamn good. Um, in terms of a score out of 10, I would probably give uh, Kieran Lager a nine out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks, a nine out of 10 for Kieran Lager. So uh, do check it out if you get the chance. You know, if you wanna order a single bottle of it, you know, and a few singles of uh, the real Asahi and Suntory, the premium malts and uh, you know, Red Horse, like Jez did, then yeah, check out old Richmond sellers. They've got it all. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this and uh, I'll see you all in the next review. But until then, fare thee well, all. <laughs>